Months of protests led to Yemen's dictator, President Saleh, agreeing to step down in 2011. Yet the nation has since descended into a civil war, as plans for restructuring Yemen broke down and Houthi rebels swept across large swathes of it. What is happening in Yemen has widely been labelled the worst humanitarian crisis on the planet, and with good reason. 80% of its people are in urgent need of humanitarian aid. Yet, instead of helping to defuse this calamitous situation, Britain has done the opposite. Our government has played a central role selling planes, missiles and other weapons to a coalition of states led by Saudi Arabia, which are indiscriminately bombing civilians in rebel-held areas and have been doing so since March 2015. The UK has licensed at least £6.8 billion worth of arms exports to Saudi Arabia alone since this bombing campaign started. In reality, the figure is almost certainly a lot higher, but due to secretive arms licensing systems, we cannot truly tell by how much. It is estimated that at least £18 billion has been sold to the whole coalition, with arms manufacturers BAE Systems, yes, them again, playing a key role as a supplier of military planes. BAE Systems alone made £2.7 billion in revenue from the Saudi Arabian military last year. The Saudi-led coalition, which incidentally includes Egypt, Bahrain and the UAE, have been responsible for over 60% of innocent civilians killed throughout this conflict, according to the UN. Western-supplied bombs have been among those used in coalition airstrikes, which have hit weddings, funerals, factories, and even a school bus. Some in the US have recognised the moral bankruptcy of such a bombing campaign, with President Biden recently withdrawing support for the offensive operations of the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen. Yet, Britain shows no sign of even moving in that direction. Worse still, as Oxfam affirmed this year, our government's continuous, unconditional support for the Saudi-led coalition is only prolonging this awful war. Most egregiously, though, is that, as our government has continued selling weapons used to kill Yemeni civilians, it has also announced that aid to these same desperate civilians will be cut by more than half. The head of the UN labelled such cuts to Yemen, in no uncertain terms, a death sentence.